Hi, Linair, and welcome. Please Hello, welcome. it's very nice to meet you. Thank you for having me on your show. Thank you so much. You are, you know, I'm so happy to have you here. You are a LinkedIn expert. For people who don't know you, um, what's your story? Please tell everyone about you. Sure. So I'm a New Zealand-based LinkedIn expert. I'm ranked amongst the top 20 in the world, and I've been working on LinkedIn for a number of years. My company, Linkability, helps uh, professionals, individuals, and companies who want to harness the power of LinkedIn to achieve their professional goals. We work in a way that makes it possible for people to showcase their skill set, their experience, and their knowledge. Now, I'm a writer. I've been a writer, a professional writer, all my life. I started out as a cadet journalist at a radio station in Auckland, New Zealand, um, back when I was very young, and I have worked in all kinds of media and publishing roles as a magazine editor, feature writer, I've been a reporter, and I've been a broadcaster. Uh, more recently, I set up my own copywriting business, Word Wizard, and now we uh, work entirely with LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn is such a great opportunity for business professionals, and I absolutely love it. So I'm really thrilled to be able to talk with you about that today, MD. Thank you. Wow, what a great story. You are one of the top 20 LinkedIn experts in the world. And if you want to talk a little bit about your company, World, World Wizard, Linkability, um, this Linkability. is your business, right? Sure, it is. But it's also the title of my book, uh, oh. Linkability, Four Powerful Strategies to Maximize Your LinkedIn Success. And that came about because I was unexpectedly ranked number one in New Zealand as a LinkedIn expert when I really didn't think that I merited that. So I sat down and wrote a book because as people who are writers will tell you, if you want to learn about something, you need to write about it. And oh. so I spent um, a year or so just before COVID uh, sitting down and writing my book about uh, LinkedIn and it has done really well. It is now one of the book authorities top LinkedIn books of all time. So I'm pretty pleased with that for someone from New Zealand. I think that that's a pretty good accolade um, to have. So uh, to me, LinkedIn is one of those pro um, platforms that is really underutilized and okay. that has so much power that it's just astonishing. Wow. So linkability is all about LinkedIn. That's that's yes. the book. So yes. Wow. Yes. And so I named the next part of my business linkability after the title of my book. <laughs> and then you can get this on Amazon. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Wow. And that's it's awesome. available on all, all three platforms. So hard copy, um, digital and uh, audio. Audio book. Okay. Audio. Yes, which oh, I read. Yeah. The audio one. That's awesome. Thank you for doing that. Also, you have uh, this group, Business business Gold. Business Gold. Now, this is a book I co-authored with Michelle J. Raymond from Sydney. Uh, she's the world's leading expert in LinkedIn company pages. And uh, a couple of years ago, she and I um, worked together to create this book, which became a bestseller. Uh, you wouldn't think that a book about LinkedIn company pages would be that interesting to a lot of people, but it certainly turned out to be. And uh, now it's the it's still the only book on the market about LinkedIn company pages. So yes, we really enjoyed working on that one together too. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you for everything you're doing. So what are some of the benefits of LinkedIn for people and for businesses? Well, I think that one of the most obvious is the fact that you and I are sitting here talking today. Right now, we are in different parts of the world, and yet we are still here talking to each other um, through the advantages of technology. And LinkedIn is an enabler of that. So it allows you to meet people that you would never come across in your normal daily life, which I, I don't know about you, but I just love that um, because New Zealand is a long way from anywhere. And so to be able to meet people from all parts of the world who've had all kinds of different experiences than me is really just an amazing thing. So I, I do enjoy that. So networking, meeting people that you wouldn't necessarily meet and also learning from people who are experts in their field. 
And so I think that it's always important that we're constantly learning. And so LinkedIn gives you the opportunity to hear from people who've got expertise and are sharing it on LinkedIn. I also believe that LinkedIn is a great place for doing business because we all build relationships with the hope in terms of business relationships with the hope that there will be a client there at the end of the process. But LinkedIn allows you to build those personal relationships along the way because we all do business with people we know, like and trust. So if you meet someone on LinkedIn, you get to know them, you get to see them, uh, you get to read their content and perhaps engage with them, then you will learn to trust them, they'll learn to trust you, and it becomes a mutually beneficial relationship. So I think those are three really good starting points, MD. So learning, meeting new people, and being able to share and learn and grow your business. Okay. So how to create a good LinkedIn profile? Because you are Oh, you're... I hope you've got the rest of the day for so that. You're you're an expert in writing I mean you help people write their LinkedIn profile. Um so do you have any examples you wanna show the viewers? Well, do you wanna talk I'm about I'm some... very happy for you to show profile. them mine. Um, because all of the techniques that I use on uh, other people's profiles, I have already tested on my own just to see how they uh, work. And it's really super important to have an, a good, compelling and complete LinkedIn profile. The reason for that is that when someone checks you out uh, anywhere online, say they Google your name, for example, your LinkedIn profile is what they're going to see first. Right. So you need to make it a good one. You need to make it a compelling reason for them to stop by. You want them to uh, go, wow, this looks really interesting. I better have a look a bit further down into the profile. So you only have one chance to make a first impression. So the banner at the top is okay. crucial. It needs to be colorful. It needs to tell people what you do. Uh, and it needs to give them a reason for looking further into your profile. So uh, the example um, that you've got here, which is mine, is to offer a free ebook uh, down further into the profile. So people scroll down so that they can get a copy of that if they want to do that. Now, part of my thing with LinkedIn, and not everybody's like this, is I like to share a lot of information. I like to talk about LinkedIn. I like to help other people with LinkedIn because I believe that the more of us who are good at LinkedIn, the better it is for everybody. Right. Uh, so consequently, I'm always offering free information. And so to have the ebook down there in my uh, featured section is a really good idea. And I've got it there amongst some uh, other ebooks books as well. So your banner is really important at the top. And so is your photo. MD, it's really important to have a nice photo that shows you smiling um, and being approachable, being professional, um, and just really sending out good vibes to people. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, but you can also have a video in there behind um, the profile so oh, that when okay. somebody goes to your profile, they can actually see the video. It'll play for three seconds, uh, and then if they want to click on it, it, they can see the whole lot of it. And that runs for 30 seconds or up to 30 seconds, and it's a really good way to greet people, to say, thanks for visiting my profile. I'm glad you stopped by. This is the kind of thing I do. Please connect to me. Whatever it is that um, really suits your particular situation. Having a nice, um, welcoming video is a great idea because you get – you get to see people, you get to see them talking, and that kind of um, makes people real to you, I think. It's that whole body language thing, isn't it? When yeah. you can see that somebody's really engaged and keen and, and um, enthusiastic about what they're doing. And so a profile video, I think, is a really good idea. And you, a, a quiet secret tip, you can record it on your phone. Right. You don't have to have a studio <laughs> quality video for that. You can just record it on your phone um, and uh, upload it, preferably but with captions, but the world won't end if it doesn't have captions. But it's a really easy thing to do and something that a lot of people don't yet have um, in the sense that they haven't made uh, good use of that. And the third thing that's important about your profile, the introduction section anyway, is your headline. Mm. Your headline 
like your photo, follows you around LinkedIn. So everything you do, everywhere you go, whether you are inviting people to connect, whether you are commenting on other people's posts, that photo and that headline is going to go everywhere. 